Good morning, everybody. Today's story is another read aloud about school because I surely have been missing school a lot. So this story is called, How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? And it asks a whole bunch of questions about what they think dinosaurs would do and then it tells you how they really would act. So I can't wait to see what you think. How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? By Jane Yolen, illustrated by Mark Kigu. How does a dinosaur go to school? Does he walk? Does he ride in a busy carpool? Does he drag his long tail? Is he late for the bus? Does he stomp all four feet? Does he make a big fuss? When he gets to the school, does he roughhouse and punch? Does he make a quick grab for a classmate's packed lunch? Does he race up the stairs right ahead of the bell? Does he interrupt class with his own show and tell? Does a dinosaur yell? And when in the classroom, plunked down in his chair, does a dinosaur fidget his tail in the air? Does he growl during chalk talks or roar out of turn? Does he make it too hard for the others to learn? Does he stir up the classroom by making a noise? Does he tease all the girls? Does he pick on the boys? No. A dinosaur carefully raises his hand. He helps out his classmates with projects they've planned. At recess, he plays with a number of friends and growls at the bullies till bullying ends. He tidies his desk, then he leaps out the door. Good work, good work, little dinosaur.